you done messed up now. You know that too. And that's why you're on the run, huh? Because you done messed up. What a coward. What a freaking fracking coward. Oh my goodness. All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome. Welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. Today, I want to talk about this coward named Zach Stacy. They used to play for, um, I think it was the New York Jets. Yeah. The former, the former running back. The dude is on the run now like a little uh, sad coward that he is for beating up his ex-girlfriend and throwing her all upside the wall as if they was on the football field and she was a rag doll. Um, punching her all in her head. It is such a horrifying video. That I would, I would dare, I would actually dare anybody to try to make an excuse for this kind of behavior. And because you've seen it like this, you know he's done it before with multiple women. He is a bully. Not only is he a bully, he's an abuser. And not only is he an abuser, he's a freaking fracking coward. He's a coward. Um, all this was done in front of their five-month-old child. And if anybody has privy to go to the Daily Mail, I would like for you to look at the uh, home surveillance of Zach Stacy attacking the mother of his child in front of their uh, baby um, on Saturday. Um, the New York running back was exposed on video for punching his ex girlfriend before tossing her into the into her TV at her Florida home and is now allegedly on the run after his ex filed a restraining order and police issued a warrant. If you guys haven't seen it, it's, it's horrible. I've, I've never seen anything like it. And there's no excuse for it because he should have been gutted like a fish if you want to know the truth. That right there was is unacceptable. Uh, I don't know what other than to say that if somebody is beating you around like that, the only way you can get them off of you is to gut them. The surveillance of footage shows that Zach Stacy attacking the mother of his child in front of the five-month-old in their home Saturday. Remember, he doesn't even live there. The footage was the footage was posted on social media by the victim, uh, Kristen Evans. Evans has now filed a restraining order. Good for you. Against Stacy, a former fifth round pick who played in eight games for the Jets in 2015. The order claims that Stacy had been has been abusing her since she was pregnant with their son, with the attacks escalating and no signs of stopping. Evans wrote, He will not stop. He will kill me and he will feel justified in his actions. Absolutely. She also revealed that Stacy was voluntarily hospitalized for mental illness in March of 2021. Prior to that, Stacy spent two years with the St. Louis Rams. He last played in the now defunct Alliance American Football League in 2019 with the Memphis Express. Evans can be heard begging for Stacy to stop in the disturbing video. Evans claimed um, on social media Wednesday that Stacy is still on the loose in the Nashville area and that officers in the town of Oakland, where she lives, took four days to issue a warrant. The Oakland PD officers that came to my house didn't seem to think it was bad enough to make an immediate arrest or to file an immediate warrant. It took me four days of people 
of calling people and an Orange County officer speaking on my behalf, she wrote. So because of his uh, probably football history and what they didn't think it was worth pursuing at first. If anybody gets the chance to see this footage, you will see that he almost killed this woman. He is the epitome of a coward, a punk ass, a kind of guy that likes to beat up women, but he, you know he don't got that much smoke for guys. Trust me, I know. I got, uh, I got a bunch of brothers, okay? And I know how they operate. And I know what punks do, and I know what men do. Because no man would do his woman. A real man, a real man would not beat a woman like this. That's a punk shit right there. Just so you know. For all of y'all that don't know, and for all of y'all women who have men like this, that beat y'all up like this, those aren't really men. In Jamaica, they call them mama men. And most of them hate women, and they take their frustrations out on them. I don't care if they having sex with you. I don't care about none of that. All I know is if somebody beats you like this, and you know he has a different amount of restraint when it comes to somebody that's the same physical match as him, you got to get away from that. And if you don't, you're going to learn the hard way. According to a restraining order filed by Evans, the pair met in January 2019. She claims this wasn't the first incident, I knew it, of domestic violence. The incident began when the former football player visited his son at Evans' house around 2 p.m. The two began living apart since August. And that's going to always be the excuse. Oh, I want to see my baby. See, that's what they I want. I come to see my son. And figure because you have a child by them, then they can just pop up or the stakes are, they own you now. See, this is a, a lot of black male pathology. Mostly black male pathology. I'm speaking on what I know. Okay? This type of pathology is, uh, and I don't care who the uh, 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 other person is. Black woman, white woman, it doesn't matter. I'm talking about the black male psych psychology, psych uh, pathology. A lot, a lot of them think that they can beat you up when you don't want to be bothered with them no more. Um, they think that they um, own you if you have a child with them. And once you don't want to see them no more, now it becomes um, they want to beat you up, get revenge on you, stomp you, all kinds of craziness. It's not the relationship that two whole whole and uh, emotionally people have when they break up people that are wrapped tight and not emotionally uh, damaged to that point don't beat people up like this when they don't get along or when they can't get their way this is insanity she said that they have been living apart um, since August, but once there, um, he began addressing her over an incident that took place in September 2020 before he flew into a jealous rage and attacked his ex, punching her multiple times in the head before dragging her from the couch and throwing her into the TV, which then fell on her. He punched me several times in the head. I begged him to stop because the baby was on the couch just a few feet away from where he punched me. Evans wrote in a restraining order application. Uh, she then added, he picked me up and threw me into my TV. The TV began to fall and he turned to make sure I wasn't getting up. As I laid on the floor, he began to yell at me, telling me I'm destructive. Listen to this. Listen to this projection. He then picked me up off the floor um, uh, and off my feet and body slammed me unto our son's bouncy seat. I fear for my life and my children's lives, Evans wrote in an application. It's not clear whether the judge has approved the order. The victim says that after the attack, Stacy said, I love you to the baby boy and left before she called 911.
Evans then took herself to the hospital where she was treated for possible head wound and bruising. She said she couldn't walk without limping. The victim previously filed a police report in October when Stacy allegedly slapped her while she was holding the baby for claiming that she found out his apartment number at the place he moved into after they stopped living together. She added that he assaulted her several times on August 15th because he wanted money back that he had given her for rent. That incident, Stacy uh, Evans and Stacy punched her in the legs, slapped her, picked her up, threw her into the window, which broke. Stacy's violence, according to the restraining order, extends back to weeks before their son was born. She expressed her outrage at Florida police on social media. The Florida system has failed me. Uh, it's been failing me. I have filed police reports previously and the state attorney hasn't picked them up. Other women fall victim to this every day. Yeah, absolutely. Stacy joined the Jets in 2015 and previously played two seasons for the Rams. He broke his ankle that ankle that season, limiting him to just eight games. He's a bully. He's a bully. Evans most recently was a youth football ambassador for uh, Trans Music City Bowl in Nashville. Nobody gonna want you no more after this, buddy. You, I see your true colors shining through. You just, you just blew it. You're evil. You're evil, dude. That right there, totally unacceptable. Um, this guy, he needs help, and he has definitely um some mental illness. He might have some CT. E issues. I know he needs to be off the damn um off the grid. You got to go get him because what the rage that he showed for this woman is not even normal. Wow! And this article was done. Um, um, it was this article was by Stephen uh, Lapore and Hannah Party for Daily Mail. Y'all got to check it out. And they got the visuals and the. Film of it. It was horrible. All right. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me what you think about him. He's on the run now. And if they don't stop him, do you think this is on their way to being another OJ uh, and uh, Nicole situation? I'll see you in the next video.